Hello, this is Amos the STEM guy, Amos the math guy. One of the things that I do on my channel is talk about the history and philosophy of science. Not only do we want to talk about the uh, concepts, which we'll talk about the atomic theory and uh, the people behind the theories, the Nobel Prize and the history of mathematics, Isaac Newton being one of the smartest people ever, or Leonard Euler. I'm excited to talk about all those things. But there's one thing that matters to me more than any of that, and that's ultimately sharing about the one who created all the things that the scientists study today, right? Um, God created the heavens and the earth, the Bible says. And that's what people like Isaac Newton and James Clark Maxwell and Michael Faraday and Joseph Priestley, that's what they believe. These guys believe that God created the world. Johannes Kepler says the same thing. And then they wanted to study the world that God made. So that's part of why Amos the STEM guy is here. Yes, we'll learn math and science as much as you need to learn. Reach out if you have any topics you need me to make videos on. But I also hope you're encouraged by the other aspect of why we're here. And so I'm going to sing you a song that declares the glory of God. And I hope you're encouraged. Take care and have a blessed day. Before I sing this song, How Great Thou Art, I want to read from Romans chapter 1, verse 16 to about 22. It says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Because what may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shown it to them. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were thankful, but became futile in their thoughts and their foolish hearts were darkened professing to be wise they became fools and it goes on to talk about the different implications of not placing our focus on trust in God read Romans 1 for more please oh Lord my God when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made i see the stars i hear the rolling thunder thy path throughout the universe displayed then sings my soul my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art. How great thou art. And when I think that God his son not sparing sent him to die, I scarce can take it in that on the cross my burden gladly bearing he bled and died to take away my sin then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art when christ shall come with shout of acclamation and take me home what joy shall fill my heart then i shall bow in humble adoration and then proclaim my god how great thou art 
Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Have a blessed day. And so at the end of the day, there are some questions that science cannot answer, right? I've sang a song called How Great Thou Art, you can find on my channel there. But it's talking about things like the end of time, when Christ shall come and take me home. So clearly science cannot answer questions regarding the very origins of the universe and matter, like what caused the beginning to begin. It can't answer questions like what is the meaning of life? How should I live my life? What is right and wrong? Science can help us come up with ideas and technologies, but are they always right to use and is it okay to do certain things? And then lastly, what can science say about my destiny and my soul at the end of my life when I'm done with life on earth? Can science say anything beyond that? Science cannot. And that's why in my STEM squared uh, formula that I've come up with, I, I list theology as one of the things. We need to learn about the world God has made, but we also need to know about the one who made the world. And that's what we learn from studying the Bible and studying God's word. So take care and look out for more videos from Amos the STEM guy. Have a blessed day.